Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while. I am here today. I am going to attempt to make the sprinkle candle uh, where they put the sprinkles all the way around. So my first attempt at this, I'm going to use corn syrup. I've seen people use the caro syrup, which is pretty much from what I understand the same thing. Um, and I've also seen corn syrup. And then I've also seen people use Mod Podge. But I don't have the Caro or the Mod Podge, so I'm going to try this. Um, we're going to attempt to use it and see how this works. So I guess we can try to spread it with this, but what I'm going to do. So from what I've read, it says not to put the wick in um, until after, just because the sprinkles and everything can stick to it. So this one, I'm going to try glitter because this is what my daughter wants. Let's try this out. I have my wax already. Um, so let's squeeze a little bit in here. And we're going to twirl it around. So it is quite thick. I've read up on corn syrup that it is not flammable. So that is a bonus. So I have it all the way around my jar. Probably can't see it, but it's sticky. Okay, so now here's an issue. It's going in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to sprinkle my sprinkles in it. This is what it's looking like. So, I'm going to have to put the wax in just to see. Um, what happens. I think there's too much syrup. Alright, so I'm going to quickly try to attach my wick to this so I can... Which I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm going to add the sticker because I don't know if it's going to stick. But I'm going to try it, I guess. So you want to try to not get the glitter or anything. On your wick just for the fact that it's it may clog it so my wick is moving around in here okay we're gonna try I'm gonna stir the scent in the Tyler Woods from the dub from Bath and Body Works and I love it. Alright, so looks like fun. So basically while I've been sitting, all of it went down to the bottom. So I'm gonna try to get it all the way around to the edges and then quickly pour. So, my trial run is not going as well as all these do-it-yourself videos. See, the second I put it down, it all falls down to the bottom. Okay, so, do I just start pouring? Wick does not want to stay. 
I am going to start pouring and pray for the best. stuff around. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. So we're pouring now wax out. So this is not working. So wax is not sticking to it. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. Let's just pour the wax and see what happens. All right. So, I don't know if you can see how that turned out, but there's some glitter on the sides, but the majority of it is on the bottom. So, I will be back and I'll let you know how that one turned out. Okay, so I am back. We're going to do round two with sprinkles and see how this goes. As you can see, this is still trying to harden. Anything that was left on the sides pretty much has gone all the way down to the bottom. So I'm wiping my container out now, and I'm going to put the wick in first. Um, see if I can get it to stay at least in the middle, because that one's going to be all wonky. All right. You don't have one of these these things are very cool you stick your wick in and it helps to press it down and you try to center it all right round two so i'm going to open my sprinkles up first steam Got these cute little packages because I kind of wanted the round sprinkles, not the, the long ones. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous, people, but they're gonna end up all over the floor. Don't know where to put them so I can grab them quickly. Okay, all right, so try not to get anything on your wick. Everybody cross your fingers. Okay, so I'm going to use my finger this time. Now, I didn't add as much, so that may have been my issue the first time, so I guess I won't knock it just yet. It does have the stickiness to it. Let's try sprinkles now. Oh, this is working better. Okay, so now I guess I just need a brush so I don't have to use my finger. All right, so I think that turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. There it is. Oh my god, it's so cute. That worked. Oh my god, and look at it's not even going into the middle, so that's good. But I do have sprinkles on my wick, so I gotta take those off. Okay, and I have sprinkles all over my table, but whatever. Okay, so I'm not gonna fill it up all the way because I'm gonna try to do the whip as well. Ugh, I'm all sticky. Oh, this turned out so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I was worried after the first one. So I think it was just my error. <laughs> but that's what they all said to do. It was just pour it in and roll it around. Okay. Alright. So let's pour this in. Let's hope all the sprinkles don't fall off. Well, what do you know? It works, guys. Alright, so I have some sprinkles that went down to the bottom. But otherwise, it's looking good. 
So next I'm going to try to whip uh, the extra wax that I have. Okay, so I have a little bit of wax that is hardened in the bottom of here. I'm going to try to whip it. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. I don't know how this mixer works. Okay, so it has whipped. I don't know if you can see that. It has whipped some, but I thought it would kind of grow kind of like an egg white kind of thing. But I'm guessing not. So right now I'm going to have to, I'm going to need more wax. Okay, so it seems to go everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to leave it sit a little bit longer. Um, these sprinkles from what I'm seeing is where the wax hit. It almost looks like they're melting. Um, so maybe it didn't work. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see once it hardens. They're still, both of them aren't hard enough to, to know what's going to happen. I'm quite curious about this though because all the stuff is on the bottom. So I don't quite know what's going to happen with that. Um, but we will see. Wow, that is whipped. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to leave it for a little bit again, and then I'm going to whip it again. And see if it goes any bigger. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily make it any bigger, but it does work. Uh, it's pretty cool. Like the consistency. I don't know how it sets, but now that I've whipped this, I cannot put it on the candle yet as it's still not hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come back to do that. Unfortunately, so I may need to whip it again. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we are back. This has hardened. So as you can see, they kind of melted a little bit, but it still, for the most part, looks good. All the ones that are on top have actually stay stuck. So let's see. I'm going to. Okay, so that got hard. So let's re whip it. All right, so this is just a trial. I'm not trying to make it look amazing, but here's to hoping. <laughs> so, as you can see, you can kind of get it to go pretty well actually like it looks like icing so okay so I wasn't going to go on here because I look a little scary right now ah, but anyways so this is the sprinkles so it definitely turned out better than the glitter um, the only thing is, is where I poured the wax, I don't know if you can see it, it looks like they bled a little bit, um, whereas at the top where I didn't pour the wax, it kind of looks a little bit brighter. As for the frosting, one, don't judge me, I was trying to do it quickly, and then my computer died. Two, it would be pipeable, so that's how I would do it, and I would use a lot more than what I used. I was just using what I had so that I wasn't wasting anything, because this is a trial run. But So I put it on the top. It does look like frosting. Um, please don't judge, because I know it looks horrible. But it did work, and it was pliable, so like piped on kind of thing like icing, maybe put a little sprinkles on top. I am going to try to put the sprinkles on the top just to see kind of what happens when I burn it. Um, but overall, I think it was pretty good. I think I may pour the wax a little bit 
like at a lower temperature than what it usually should be um, just because I think it, it did melt them because you can see the exact line right here uh, where I poured to um, and it's almost like it just changes it so who knows I did get wax on the wick but whatever like I said this is a trial so just so you know this did work um, and I'm very excited about it as for this one <laughs> so here it is it, it does not look great um, none of the sparkles stayed on the side of the vessel um, it's all on the bottom here so I'm not quite sure how this is going to burn um, it smells good but we will have to see <laughs> some of the drag was kind of interesting but I would be interested to try this again um, using a lot less of the syrup and doing exactly what I did with these sprinkles and hope for the best kind of thing. It's kind of cool how it's only on the bottom, but I definitely wouldn't sell this to somebody. <laughs> so I will let you know how that one burns as well. Um, so that's that. Hope you enjoyed this. Here are the samples so you know if they worked or not. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have a good one and stay fantastic. Bye! Hi guys. Okay, so since I did that video, I have tried to do it myself even better and I've learned a couple tricks um, to keep it to the side. Now, I thought I would do this video just to kind of make it look a little bit better because I have tried things since then and um, like this is one of my products that I've done since then since I've learned for Valentine's Day super cute I'm super excited about it I also did just a little a little one with the sprinkles on the side so with this I found that using one of those little foam brushes or if you have a little um, brush that you use for cooking to brush on like your barbecue sauce and that kind of thing if you have something like that you can use that so what I did instead of pouring it into the vessel I poured it into a bowl or a plate or something like that and then I take that brush and I dip it in there and then go from there uh, I'm not putting as much on to it so it's not as bad next um, what you want to do is let it sit so once you've poured that stuff in um, and you have your sprinkles all the way around let it sit because it will harden and it'll harden to it third is pour at a low temperature if you pour at a high temperature it's going to melt it just like it did with the other one and that one just got worse and worse and worse as the days went by it looked horrible it was just like one blended color and when you combine every color together it just looks horrible so uh, that is that this I did use the um, piping for it and I think it turned out pretty good I put some sparkles or some sprinkles on top ah that just fell off okay but anyways I put some sprinkles on top I have a little embed that I are uh, embed I don't know how you say it anyways on top there um, but I think they turned out pretty good the whip looks really nice um, another thing with the whip is more what you think is going to be what I thought in the beginning was I thought that a little bit would go a long way because I thought it was going to expand it did not so basically when you're trying to calculate it pretty much just double it and figure it out from there i have tried melting it just to see what happens with it being over the top it leaked a little bit on the one side and that was about it so basically when you're giving it to 
your customers, you're going to have to explain that they need to put a plate or something underneath it because it could um, fall out some of it. But honestly, because it's whipped, it's a lot lighter, so it just basically melts down and it's not the the amount that you have the whip in because it's basically half of that. So when it does melt down, it's not going to fully fall out. So that makes that good. But there will be some spillage because you are outside of it. Um, but other than that, it was it worked pretty good. And wick up, I believe I had to myself. I thought I thought that it was going to be okay. But I think there's just so much going on with it that it needed it needed that extra. So try yourself, see what works for you, what works best for you. But for myself, I had to wake up. But otherwise, I think I think it's a lot better. Corn syrup 100% works, and then you're going an all natural way. You're not using any chemicals or anything like that. And um, so yeah, that's what I found worked best. So one, use a lot less, use a brush, don't pour it in. Two, let it harden once you put these sprinkles or whatever you're putting on the glitter or anything like that, let that harden first before pouring. Pour at a lower temperature. I think I poured, instead of the 160 that it asked me to, I poured at, I think it was around 120 I poured. And then for the whip, um, double it. Other than that, I think it worked pretty good. I think I just needed a couple rounds with it. But uh, other than that, sorry, once again looking scary. But that's life. What can you do? Anyways, so I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you stay fantastic and we will see you in my next video. Bye guys!